Okay, I've got for sale a uh, MTR-3 from KD-1JV. I built this from a kit about three years ago uh, when he was offering them for sale. Uh, this is a three-bander uh, for 20, 30, and 40 meters. Some of them were built for 17, 30, and 40. Um, this is 20, 30, and 40. It's in good condition cosmetically and uh, I'd say better than good and also uh, operationally. Uh, weighs just a few ounces and can run off a 9-volt battery. Puts out about 2 watts with a 9-volt battery, but I've always used 12 volts and I'm going to hook it up now and uh, put it on the air. Let's, let's have a little demo here. Okay, I've got the MTR hooked up now to paddles, um, a powered speaker, a 12-volt bus off a solar panel, and uh, a Yagi at about 50 feet, pointed northeast at the moment. And my switches are set for 20 meters, so let's uh, turn this thing on. I get a 2 in the display and a Morse 2 telling me that I'm on 20 meters. And I'm on 14.060. This powers up on the QRP frequency for whichever band you've got it on at the moment. And to verify that, I can hit the function button and it will tell me in Morse and in the LCD display one digit at a time the last uh, three and the tenth of a kilohertz that I'm in. 14.060. Let me see if the frequency is in use. And then I'll call CQ and show you the watt meter as I do it. Strong sucker, too. I got it! I got it! I got it! I'm patched in! Alright, let me hear it. Okay, point source confirmed. Whatever it is, it ain't local. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Okay, so it's putting out around four and a half to five watts on 20 meters with a 12 volt supply. It puts out about two watts with a nine volt battery and uh, puts out about the same amount of power on 30 and 40 meters. Wow, there's a familiar call, sir. Okay, I'm going to increase my key speed a little bit. Oh, 100 watts. He's a QRP operator. I'm surprised Ken's using the... Uh...
Yes, it is. All right, I finished up my QSO with Ken. Uh, we talked for about 20 minutes, and about halfway through, I think I shamed him into uh, going QRP himself. I've worked him a number of times. He's always QRP, and this time he was with 100 watts, and I said something to him about it. And uh, the next time he came back to me, he was also QRP. So uh, anyway, we, we keep things consistent, Ken. Anyway, uh, that's a check out of the rig. Thanks for watching, and Ken, thanks for the uh, thanks for the QRP QSO and the rig checkout. Good to talk to you again. 73, everyone.